Today I'm going to be talking about how you can get started with the Wolfram language for free on a Mac computer. So the Wolfram language is the language behind Mathematica and Wolfram Desktop. Uh, and uh, typically in the past you've had to pay a lot of money to use the language. But recently the company has opened up a lot of its technology for free uh, to developers and uh, really anyone who's interested in, in testing it out for themselves. So the Wolfram language is an interpreted language kind of like Python or JavaScript and um, in order to use the language on on any computer you need to download Wolfram Engine. So if you search for Wolfram Engine, you should get to this page right now. It's wolfram.com slash engine. And here you will be able to choose from a series of options. You can download for Mac OS Intel, Mac OS ARM, Windows, and Linux. So depending on your operating system and your processor type, you can download a different version. So to figure out what processor your Mac has, you can do the Apple key about this Mac, and you can see right here, processor 1.6 GHz dual core Intel Core i5. So this is an Intel based Mac. If instead your processor is M1 or something to that effect, then that is an ARM based processor and you will need to choose a different download. So because I have an Intel-based processor, I'm going to press download for Intel. And that is going to download and finish. So when the download is complete, just press on it and it will install, or sorry, it will actually install a downloader and uh, if you double click on the downloader it will start downloading the entire Wolfram engine. In total it is going to be a one gigabyte download and when it actually installs it will be unzipped to around four gigabytes. So yeah, this is going to take some time, so in the meantime I'm going to talk about uh, Wolfram Engine. So Wolfram Engine, it, I said before, it's an interpreter, it's like Python. It will interpret Wolfram language code and execute it on your CPU for you. and. Uh, So in order to actually use Wolfram language, you will need to get a license from Wolfram. So if you click on that get a license tag on the download page, it will take you to a sign in window where you either need to sign in to Wolfram or you can create an account on the page. So you can sign in with your email if you have already created an account, or you can create a new account with this button down here. And uh, after you sign in, you'll be able to see, uh, it will actually show you the terms of the license. So you can use the Wolfram Engine download to develop a product for yourself or your company, conduct personal projects at home, school, or work, or explore the Wolfram language for future production projects. So this will let you uh, do anything for yourself or internal to your company, or uh, evaluate the Wolfram language for actual production use in the future. And uh, this license does not give you the right to 
uh, copy the Wolfram engine and distribute that. Uh, other people can still download the engine from Wolfram and use it to execute your code if you want, but if you want to actually distribute the engine, you will need to get OEM licensing, which means uh, Wolfram will charge a small fee for every copy of the engine that you distribute yourself. Um, also, it's good to know that if you have an open source project that you're working on, you can actually reach out to Wolfram and uh, negotiate a free license for that project. So, yeah, those are the terms of the license. One other thing is if you already have Wolfram uh, desktop installed, which is their paid software that you can you might be able to get from a university if you have you know if you're going to a university or you can get uh, a home edition for like a hundred bucks per year or something like that if you already have it have this premium thing installed the Wolfram desktop actually comes with the Wolfram engine so really all you need to do is install this Wolfram script command line tool to follow along with this tutorial. I'm going to be talking about how to use the Wolfram language from the command line or terminal instead of uh, from the desktop environment like usual. So yeah, if you're if you want to follow along just search for Wolfram script and download that for your processor. Has completed, and uh, so at this point, you want to make sure you've signed in to the uh, web app and or made an account and received your license. Uh, if you have not done that, you won't be able to activate the software. So, in order to activate the software you'll want to first uh, go to the download window and when it's complete you can press launch and I'm just going to skip verification so as you can see this downloader actually has two downloads or two programs that are installed one is the Wolfram engine and like I said before that is basically the interpreter for the Wolfram language. And if you drag it into your applications, it will start installing that. And the second uh, thing that is included with the Wolfram language is this Wolfram script package. Now, Wolfram script is the tool that allows you to connect to the Wolfram engine and run Wolfram language code from your terminal. So really this program just, it's a little shell utility that allows you to send data to the Wolfram engine. So as you can see, this is going to be about a four gigabyte download so I will pause the video and resume when that is complete. Installing, so now you can see there's this Wolfram engine uh, file in the applications folder. So the next thing you're going to want to do is install Wolfram script. So I'm going to double click that. Continue. Default install location. And that is that. Okay, so now it's going to delete the download and save some space, so that's good. Okay, and now I'm going to go to the terminal. So to go to the terminal, you can type launchpad and just search for terminal. And 
uh, from the terminal, I'm going to make a folder called Wolfram script test. So I'm going to enter that directory. And you can see this is admin users, alloc, Wolfram script test. And there's no files in this directory. So to get started with Wolfram script, you're going to want to type. Okay, so when you press enter, you'll be taken into the Wolfram language repo environment. So in this environment, you can run standard Wolfram language code like print. Okay, and you could say assign a function name. And run functions. Or how do you spell increment? I don't know, so it doesn't matter. Let's see, you could say cosine. And yeah, so this is uh, the Wolfram language environment. And uh, when you're done doing this, uh, and you actually want to uh, exit out, just press Control D on your Mac. So Control D and then that will exit out. So as you can see, I'm in this Wolfram script test folder from before. What I'm going to do is make a new file for, or make a new Wolfram script that we're going to run to test out the Wolfram language functionality and uh, how to actually program standard Wolfram language command line programs. So, touch test.ws and now I'm going to edit that file oops wrong folder okay so uh, let's just start with like print Print out the time. Control X, Y, enter. And now I can uh, see what's in that file and we can try to run it and see what happens. So if I do Wolfram script dash f test.ws uh, okay so I guess date time string is not a thing but if I do now something like that Okay, so it prints out this date object. Okay, so I guess date string was the function name. And, uh, so yeah, whenever I run that with Wolfram script dash F and then the file name, 
it will actually run all of the code in this file. So I can say print something like f or x is equal to input and I can say uh, before that I can say print what is x x is equal to input and I can say print Factorial is X factorial. Okay, so now if I do Wolfram script test.ws again, it says hello world, prints at the time, what is X? X is 8. 8 factorial is 40,320. Cool. Okay, and that is pretty much the basics of using the command line functionality in Wolfram. So the typically a way that I would do this is I would have a notebook on say Wolfram Cloud which you can use for free again and I would test out code uh, and you know use all of the visualization tools available in the Wolfram cloud environment and from there I would when I'm done I would copy and paste this code into uh, my WLS file to actually uh, finalize the working code and uh, keep record of that. And I would use git to keep track of the test.ws file so that my work is never lost or if I want to change something there is a log of what exactly changed. And right now that's kind of my biggest problem with notebooks. It's really hard to track changes and it's it seems really easy to get unorganized but with a script and git you can always go back in time, you can always see what changed, and uh, it's I just find it to be a much more stable way of storing source code. So yeah, that is it for now. Thanks for watching, and uh, be sure to check this channel out in the future if you want more detailed programming tutorials using the Wolfram language to do actual uh, projects. So yeah, see you in the future. Bye.